Welcome to the global defense battle. The Agni-5 missile is one of India's most advanced intercontinental ballistic missiles, developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. Its primary purpose is to significantly enhance India's nuclear deterrent capabilities, particularly against potential threats from neighboring countries like China and Pakistan. The missile was officially inducted into the Indian Armed Forces in 2018. The Dongfeng-41, on the other hand, is one of China's most formidable intercontinental ballistic missiles, reflecting the country's significant advancements in missile technology. Developed to serve as a crucial component of China's nuclear strategy, the Dongfeng-41 provides a credible deterrent against adversaries, including the United States and its allies. The missile began operational deployment around 2018-2019, following its development which started in the early 2000s. And today, we will compare these both missile, India's most advanced Agni-5 versus China's formidable Dongfeng-41 missile. So let's start. Talking about the design and dimensions, the Agni-5 is approximately 17.5 meters long, with a diameter of around 2 meters. Its launch weight is about 50 tons. It features a sleek aerodynamic body designed for optimal performance during flight. Its fuselage is tapered, allowing it to minimize drag, which is crucial for long-range missions. The missile has a smooth surface and is constructed using advanced composite materials that reduce weight while maintaining strength. It is equipped with stabilizing fins at the rear, which help maintain its trajectory and control during flight. The fins are strategically placed to enhance maneuverability, allowing the missile to adjust its path if needed. The Dongfeng-41, on the other hand, is also streamlined to enhance aerodynamic efficiency. With a diameter of 1.8 meters and a total length of approximately 15 meters, the missile weighs around 40 tons, which is lighter than the Agni-V. Like the Agni-V, Dongfeng-41 also features stabilizing fins that improve its control and accuracy during flight. Both missiles are engineered with advanced designs that emphasize aerodynamics and stability. Coming the, to the propulsion system and performance, the Agni-5 employs a three-stage solid-fuel propulsion system. The first stage utilizes a solid rocket motor, while the second and third stages are equipped with advanced solid rocket motors to provide the necessary thrust for long-range flight. This system allows the Agni-5 to reach speeds of around Mach 24, which is approximately 2,9500 kilometers per hour. The missile has an operational range exceeding 5,000 kilometers with estimates suggesting it could extend to about 7,000 to 8,000 kilometers under certain conditions. It is designed to operate at high altitudes, making it effective for striking targets at long distances. On the other hand, the Dongfeng-41 also features a three-stage solid fuel propulsion system. This missile is known for its rapid deployment capabilities and high speed, reportedly reaching up to Mach 25, which is around 30,600 kilometers per hour. The missile has a maximum range of approximately 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers, allowing it to target distant locations, including the continental United States. Like Agni-5, it is designed to function at high altitudes, enhancing its effectiveness during flight. Both the Agni-5 and Dongfeng-41 are engineered for long-distance strikes, with each missile's specifications reflecting its strategic role in national defense. Talking about the payload capacity and warhead, the Agni-5 has a substantial payload capacity of over 1,500 kilograms. This allows it to carry various types of warheads, including nuclear and conventional options. The missile is designed to accommodate multiple independent re-entry vehicles, enabling it to deliver several warheads simultaneously to different targets. This feature significantly enhances its strike capability, making it a powerful deterrent. When equipped with a nuclear warhead, the destruction radius can be substantial, typically around 30 kilometers for a yield of 150 to 300 kilotons. The precise effects depend on the warhead's yield and the height at which it detonates. On the other hand, Dongfeng-41 also has a comparable payload capacity, capable of carrying approximately 1,000 kilograms. Like Agni-5, it can be armed with nuclear or conventional warheads and utilizes MIRV technology. 
The Dongfeng 41's warheads can deliver a nuclear payload with a yield estimated between 200 and 400 kilotons, which translates to a destruction radius of about 50 kilometers for maximum impact. This high yield and extended radius make it an effective strategic weapon in China's nuclear arsenal. Both missiles are designed to deliver significant payloads with advanced warhead capabilities. Talking about guidance system and accuracy, the Agni-5 utilizes an advanced guidance system that includes a ring laser gyroscope-based inertial navigation system paired with a micro-inertial navigation system. This dual system enhances the missile's ability to accurately reach its target. The guidance system can also integrate with Indian satellite navigation systems, like NAVIC and global systems such as GPS, for improved precision. The accuracy of Agni-5 is measured by its circular error probable, which is estimated to be between 50 to 100 meters. This means that 50% of the missiles launched will land within this radius of the intended target, reflecting its capability for precision strikes. Dongfeng-41, on the other hand, similarly employs a sophisticated guidance system that enhances its accuracy during flight. It is equipped with an inertial navigation system that provides real-time data for tracking and targeting. It boasts a CEP of about 30 to 50 meters, indicating a higher level of accuracy compared to Agni-5. This reduced CEP means that Dongfeng-41 can strike targets more precisely, which is critical for both strategic deterrence and operational effectiveness. Both missiles feature advanced guidance systems. Agni-V's dual navigation systems ensure reliable targeting, while Dongfeng-41's superior accuracy makes it a formidable weapon in China's arsenal. Coming to the launch platform, Agni-5 utilizes a sophisticated transporter erector launcher system known as the Transport Cum Tilting Vehicle. This vehicle is designed for mobility and rapid deployment, enabling the missile to be transported and launched from various locations without requiring fixed launch pads. The TEL is a robust platform that weighs around 140 tons and is capable of carrying the Agni-5 missile securely. During launch operations, the vehicle can tilt the missile to the correct angle, allowing for efficient and quick launch procedures. The canister design of the Agni-V not only protects the missile from environmental factors, but also significantly reduces the reaction time from stop to launch to just a few minutes, typically around 10 minutes. On the other hand, Dongfeng-41 also employs a transporter erector launcher system that enhances its ability to be deployed rapidly. This launch vehicle is designed to be highly mobile, allowing it to move across different terrains and be launched from various pre-surveyed locations. The mobility of Dongfeng-41 is a key advantage, making it difficult for adversaries to detect and target before launch. The missile's response time is also efficient, generally taking about 15 to 30 minutes to prepare and launch once the order is given. Both missiles benefit from advanced launch vehicle systems, and their quick response times are crucial for their effectiveness in a strategic military context. Regarding cost, the Agni-5 has a development cost estimated at over 2,500 crore rupees, which is approximately $300 million. This substantial investment reflects the advanced technologies incorporated into the missile, such as a ring laser gyroscope for guidance and navigation systems. Each missile is expected to cost around 10 crore to 20 crore rupees, translating to approximately 1.2 million to 2.4 million dollars per unit, depending on the configurations and technologies used. Dongfeng-41, on the other hand, has an estimated unit cost of around 5 million to 10 million dollars per missile. While the exact figures are less publicized compared to the Agni-5, the Dongfeng-41 is known to be a highly advanced missile with capabilities that justify its cost. The overall development costs for the Dongfeng-41 are not explicitly detailed, but China's investment in missile technology is significant, focusing on enhancing its strategic capabilities. Agni-5 is currently deployed as part of India's strategic arsenal and is under the operational command of the Strategic Forces Command. Reports indicate that several Agni-5 missiles are stationed in various locations across India, providing the country with significant nuclear deterrence capabilities against potential adversaries, particularly China. As of 2024, it is believed that the Agni-5 is operational with approximately 30 to 40 launchers available. Dongfeng-41 
on the other hand, is also an important part of the country's nuclear deterrent strategy. While specific operational numbers are not publicly disclosed, it is known that the missile is capable of reaching targets across vast distances, including the continental United States, and is estimated to have around 20 launchers in operational status. In conclusion, the comparison between India's Agni-V and China's Dongfeng-41 missiles highlights the strategic advancements each country has made in their missile technology. Agni-V, with its impressive range, advanced guidance systems, and MIRV capabilities, positions India as a formidable player in regional security, allowing for precise strikes against targets across Asia and Europe. Meanwhile, Dongfeng-41 showcases China's commitment to enhancing its nuclear deterrent, offering extended range and advanced maneuverability. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.